But yeah, I mean, it looks good. I haven't actually checked it out yet because I was busy this weekend. But I mean, I think actually literally my parents are downstairs listening to it right now. Uh, I think your mic might have gotten muted. That or the audio got muted on my side. One Oops, second. that was me. I forgot to unmute myself. But <laughs> okay, no worries. I was just wondering. Uh, I was like, gosh. Uh, but yeah, I so, think they're uh, literally down there watching it right now. So yeah, I seen I seen it this uh this Friday. I think we went to go. Uh, we just seen it at the house too. We didn't really go out for this. Yeah, one, but, no. I mean, um, it was good. I liked it. It was a uh, fun, a little enjoyable. Uh, almost felt kind of Deadpool ish, kind of. But then I was like, it um. Kind of, you know, this, the title gives it Suicide Squad, so it's like, so you know, supposed to have a bunch of people be dying. <laughs> That's yeah, very and I mean, I, I very much expected it to be a James Gunn kind of film, which is a little goofy, Definitely. a little funny, and then he has a a good habit of like mix mixing in some of the heavy undertones, you know, as far as story writing. So I don't know if they did that in this one or not, since it is Suicide Squad, and like you said, a bunch of people just die anyway. Yeah. But um. I, I thought it was good. The only thing is, it's just a WB still feels like, you know, they don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I, I, I think we've already, yeah, I think we've kind this, of established at, that. That's, at yeah. this point, do you, I think I just take these films now as kind of just stand each yeah. their own now at this point yeah. because I, I, I there, there is no DCE. Yeah, let's, let's be honest. There is no DCEU. It, it doesn't exist. It's a fiction. Uh, probably more fictional than the characters that they're based on <laughs> just I'm, and and, there, uh, said this one wasn't considered a uh sequel it, uh of the first one this that, that's what they said i don't know but I, i'm you know I, I, yeah i don't know i stay away from a lot of it one i stay away from like any info anymore because i feel like so i just did it earlier with the eternals where i accidentally was listening to some clips of a like easter eggs or a, a explained and it's like blah 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 and that's probably what's going to happen in this story and i'm like i don't want to know what's going to happen in the story i want to go in and watch it and figure out what happens in the story and so like don't get me wrong i like trailers and teasers because they're supposed to kind of give you a taste of what the movie will be like but i don't like trailers and teasers that give too much away you know what i mean and yeah. not even in the sense of like the kind of a classic cliche like oh they used all the best scenes from the movie i just mean like i don't want to know more than maybe like even the premise of the story uh going into it but other than that like so that i liked it it was good the the acting the actors are pretty cool i, um, I really... like king shark a lot uh, my son was a fan of the king shark character a lot <laughs> i think everybody um would be. Sylvester Stallone, I thought, did a pretty good, uh, awesome job of playing, you know, <laughs> that kind of character. With just, you know, a few words, but he did it. It's such, you they know. They really just... made him a, uh, not to draw comparisons too early, but they made him a Groot kind of character. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it was cool. I, I even liked the, I liked Ratcatcher, and her little sidekick was pretty cool, Sebastian, and then, um... Yeah, I just I really liked everything. It was pretty cool. Even uh, Iris was pretty cool. He I liked him as Deadshot. He was uh, he was a pretty cool actor in the whole movie. And even John Cena, he I I love John Cena in anything yeah, though. I so mean, he's, he's I funny. was like and, I, I was gonna expect uh, yeah. And they played very heavily like. on on the um, but they did. I think they do it right. I think they, at least in this one, it looked like they were doing it right. Sometimes they make characters. So for example, what? uh, what kind of in the Josh Whedon cut of Justice League when you have Batman kind of telling jokes and don't get me wrong uh -huh. Batman will sometimes very rarely tell a joke but most of yeah. the comedy in Batman is supposed to come between the juxtaposition between like something he's saying and or doing right or or some other thing right where he says something serious that's too serious for a situation right or something like that Whereas where I think Peacemaker in this one looks like that, where he's not intending, right? He doesn't tell jokes. He says intentionally very serious things that are just stupid. Is that, am I, am I, 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 I yeah. kind of, no, no, no. yeah, that's pretty good spot on for him. I, li I like that. Uh, I like that. And then I guess he's, they're having a, uh, but that, this is already confirmed, I guess a few months back, but 
They're doing that Peacemaker show too uh, with John Cena, so as well. Really, so, I I didn't know that. Yeah, so that would explain why they did so much with him recently in uh, not John Cena, but the Peacemaker in the recent run of Suicide Squad from uh, yeah, from whatever he's kind of like the one leading the squad and this whole other thing. So I was wondering why they had done that, especially because prior to this Peacemaker is definitely, I mean, let's be honest the. The, the point of the Suicide Squad is most of the time it's populated by C-list the villains C-list, or below. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. no offense yes, yeah. to anybody's favorite C-list villain or D-list villain, but, like, Ratcatcher and less so King Shark, but, you know, Ratcatcher and... Oh, uh, man. Yeah, there's just, there's so many. Um, And it, and once again, this is not, a, like, a stroke Catch- on DC. Oh, man. It's, like, really detachable. Kite man. <laughs> freaking i mean just can't yeah the, the, there's just so many silly ones where it's just that's actually something i really like in the newest run of suicide squad from the comics when mm-hmm. peacemaker shows up was they like literally show up and they got like a bunch of fucking people and he just like kills half of everybody he's like you're useless you're dumb you're f- too annoying to work with just like get the f- out of here it's just so funny um but I that. like yeah. I, I had a fun watching it. It was an enjoyable movie. That's I good. I uh, if I'd, wa- I'd watch it again if uh, it ever came. You know, I, to I'm, me I'm again, excited. But... Like I said, I I particularly enjoy. Like I remember doing the ranking of uh, like movies for uh, Marvel and DC. Me and my cousin had done it at one point, where we just like oh. numbered them and then put them in their spot, which. Took quite a while for Marvel and about ten minutes for DC. <laughs> I think I just I'll never understand people even comparing them, you know what I mean? One is absolutely a cinematic universe with I mean, how many movies are they at now and shows and shit? You gotta be approaching thirty, right? Uh yeah, we're probably getting close to thirty. Maybe a couple more movies. like maybe three or four movies. I'm away. I'm counting the T V shows too, so and I'm counting yeah, them as so, one, so that's even with but, those including maybe three yeah two or three yeah 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 i'm saying a little less than 30 i'd say probably like 27 or something maybe 25 i i don't remember what the number is out but the point is you have that and then you go to the other side and you got six movies something i don't know i'm not keeping track and once again how many of these are actually still connected or right like if this is not a sequel or is not maybe because I mean, the new Batman with Pat... Uh, right. Uh, well, that's Robinson. a whole other I mean, one. But I mean, even just movie. this Suicide Squad, right? Like, we're not 100% sure that it's DCEU what? just because they're sharing some of the actors and some of the characters. Um, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll um, have to see what eventually they do in the future. Yeah. If it's just going to be eventually they just, you know, go out. And... I think it's really, yeah. honestly, WB just doesn't know what they're doing i just don't it's think they give a, a shit. bad company they, yeah it's a bad company care. to be uh with dc under, for sure yeah. <laughs> i my my thing is and here's the thing i and i've always wanted don't get me wrong i'd love a cinematic universe but i think they'd be okay just starting off doing what they kind of do with the animated series which is just make some fucking justice league movies right don't even care yeah. if they're the same actor just use an Elseworld right plot line where it's like, well, who's this? This is Russian Superman, bitch. At this point, yeah. Just at this do... point, it's like films, before right? I would not have said, you know what I mean? At the beginning, I would not have said that. I would, But after 10 Everything. years of ups and downs plus or something, I don't even know. I guess His even Man more. Because Man still was the one that started off, right? And how right. long ago was that? 2012? 2000. Mm-hmm. Uh, 2013 so just okay. under uh I mean, that's still not I... that's not bad that's still only eight but you know in eight years yeah. we've gotten not we haven't even gotten man of steel 2 right no like we still have not that, technically that probably never probably gonna happen, happen yeah. right no not yeah, with the way no yeah longer. I mean, and even beyond that, I mean, WB and, like, Henry Cavill and then the whole thing with Josh Whedon being a dick, I guess, after Justice League, you know, it's just, it's not looking good. They get they they either got to go from scratch 
which I mean, it kind of seems like they may be building towards it. For example, it would be interesting to me if they went with the new Flash movie, and then just connected that with Robert. Yeah, because I'm gonna, I'm so, like, where is the Flash going to be taking place? Right. Where is the new Shazam the movie going to be taking place? Right. Like, are the well? Uh, and to I'm be fair, so, like, like, to be <laughs> fair, most of the other ones which has always been rough for me and why well, i Patrick never like is back for the flash movie I, there's pictures of him riding the sean murphy style yeah no. uh bat cycle that they did in the white knight uh, yep. uh comic book series yeah so i mean there's been like, some really cool stuff i i'm uh, excited I for it and I, I i for one can't wait to be proven wrong about my thoughts on the casting choice so i mean like i said people are always like ah but it's like well i hope he proves me wrong because if he does a great job I get a great movie. There's no losing for me in this situation. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't <laughs> give it bad if they just did standalones and if they also did, like, I guess, a connected universe. That'd I be think cool, they'd be I guess, just fine. You know? I think they, they do, do it. Because that's what they do with the kind of CW, right? Is it, yeah. I mean, that's because, and I which guess. is also loosely <laughs> connected to the movies, right? In their multiversal, which I think that was one of the things I always give them credit for doing first is they did the multiverse TV tie-in before mm -hmm. uh, anybody. And they really do actually keep to a point, at least their TV shows really well connected. Whereas mm -hmm. obviously due to Marvel's like titles being under a bunch of people, it can't do that and doesn't. Even even with, with titles it could have done that with, like Agents of the S.H.I.E.L.D., it doesn't do that. It's more focused mm -hmm. on the movies. But what it does do is in the movies it makes a really good interwoven web of connections, right? Like where every movie – and that, that was my point of like Shazam. So like, for instance, where does Shazam take place? Well, where did Shazam 1 take place? We really have no fucking idea. It had no real, yeah. No yeah, it never shows Cavill. It. it never shows any other actor. Oh, then there's the Black Adam movie that's starting to be filmed. Uh, uh, the Rock well, has be, been teasing yeah. his uh, pictures and Which I'm excited stuff for and... that. I, I do yeah. think, I don't know how that's going to go with him being Black Adam because I feel like Black Adam has a very, uh, very specific, like, presence. And uh, I'm not sure how he'll handle that too well. But, I mean, I, I'm excited to see it if, he's, if he does do it well. He's been doing more acting, and so hopefully he's been getting his chops up for stuff like this. Doggo! People, people at home love dogs. <gasps> um... So yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see how yeah, where this all yeah. going to go, I guess. Yeah. Like I said, I'm not too, like... Uh, mad at this point anymore because like it's no. just like whatever now yeah doing, I, i'm not um, expecting it anymore so yeah um so moving on i was gonna say um oh you know one of the people we used to watch all the time growing up uh, uh trevor moore had passed away yesterday. i did i saw that From, while i was looking through some of the posts uh on your page i was actually looking for shit to put for the uh trailer and i saw that and i was like oh man uh, that's unfortunate. I, 41 years old, yeah. yeah. That's very, and then was very I was trying thing. to read through it, and it had said accident, but it didn't really specify. So I'm guessing it's either I just not being released. Some more information later. Yeah, maybe. To, to be fair, and I think this is an important thing to remember for people in general, right? Like, it, it doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter how he died, at least in the general <laughs> context of, like, unless he was doing something really bad before he died you know right uh, the the point is that right like his family as well as anyone who followed him and his works are, are now lost to the creative mind of somebody who who had done more than even i had realized honestly and i knew about some of his side stuff but i did not know some of the other stuff that those articles uh detailed about him yeah he was on comedy central doing it yeah he was doing another show just now not too long ago and i, I, I mean, guess I, some, yeah. somebody was saying that i used to watch him on twitch even he was doing twitches uh, yeah channels, no, they, uh, he had been doing a lot of stuff i knew about a, a decent amount of that stuff like the new shows and stuff i knew didn't know about the twitch thing but the ones I had read was that he used to be like a cartoonist. He's actually still like the youngest oh, cartoonist. Never in history. knew that. Yeah, I don't know. Never knew that. Yeah, I had no idea. I like I said, I was reading through some of the articles, and it was like, yeah, he wrote this cartoon when he was like twelve, and then went and was an apprentice to somebody on the Saturday Night Live show, and then you know they just doing the whole biography <laughs> thing. But yeah, that's it's really very unfortunate. underrated. 
that's the only thing. Yeah. Like, you know, I know he I could have, you know, he could have been, you know, I think way more out there. He was funny. I really loved his work. He, I even loved his one movie he did with uh, the other uh, actor from the Wildest Kids. You know, I forget his name. But, oh, uh, I, yeah. That's the one the, where they the bigger Playboy <laughs> Mansion. Yeah. No, they did some. I mean, they, I honestly always really enjoyed. They, you know who they remind me of? Or this, they remind me of the group of guys, not in comedy or anything, but just in the general way they function of the guys who do Beer Fest and Super Troopers. You know, that group uh, of guys? Yeah. Because yeah, those guys are all think. also a group of writers and friends and like creatives yeah. that make their own movies and like their own productions and kind of spearhead them and i think part of it is the fact that one trevor was and the and wukuk in general was like improvish in their general style like mm-hmm. even like the new show if you like look into what it's about it's like a very I improv never watched it. yeah i was gonna check it out um, after uh, so i I, I haven't doing yeah. more work after that. <laughs> yeah, I haven't watched it either, but I was reading the premise, and it seems like the the audience gives them kind of the premises of the show uh, as they watch. I don't okay. know, so I, I I haven't seen it. I, once again, I'd love to see it, and I, I, obviously this is kind of like the last thing we get to see. So very much kind of along the lines of like the last movie Chaz, Chadwick Boseman did, or something like. You know, you didn't know it was oh, the yeah, last like, thing you were getting until you got it, or until they were gone. But yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That, so that well, sad, it was pretty sad, just because you know, like you know, we always kind of, I kind of grew up watching. Well, we both kind of grew up yeah, watching those guys. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, I even watched a, f- a few of them last night just to kind of remember. I was like, oh, that's, I these are really fun. To I watch. was <laughs> literally watching them not too long ago. Maybe not, you know, not like a week, but maybe like a month or two ago. I had just sat, sat down and I was watching through some old ones and like seeing people, watch, you know, showing them to somebody or something. I was like, yeah, this one on like, you know, American history or European history. Or whatever. Oh, and I don't know. It, it's definitely rough because like you said, it's one of those things where – uh, it's something you know you grew up with and you really enjoyed and also i think on top of that being sad is like he is younger right uh like yeah. said, like 41 um and that's just not you know shit me and you aren't that far away from 41 <laughs> thinking about it no. in that kind of in kind of terms like that so it definitely hurt, hits hard um same with the accident kind of thing but i think it's something that we as a people in society are going to have to like culturally get into more used to it because it's only it's just going to keep happening at a more exponential rate so like Uh the the for example right like during the 1990s or the 1980s and the 1990s a lot of the original film stars from like the 20s and 30s finally started like dying uh, or were like finally all of them were starting to die, right? Like they had been dying since the twenties at various ages, but they were reaching the peaks of old age, right? They they were in their twenties in the twenties, and so by the time the eighties were coming around, they were eighty and they were reaching the end of their rope. And as time went on, we got more film, right? And we get more productions, and we get more TV, and we get more. Uh, YouTube and Twitch and all these different mediums and and sports and you know it, it just grows and we get more and more and more and as we get more and more and more statistically speaking we're going to end up having more and more of these celebrity deaths right whether they be from movies or sports or gaming or right voice actors or because uh, because we you know thinking about it logically we talk about Trevor Moore we also just recently lost um, the voice of Muriel Bag which was Ed, uh, I was actually gonna bring that up too I forgot uh, yeah. ter- uh, it was Terry, Terry ter- Moore or not no, Terry Moore it was I'm so sorry I'm what you're thinking about the same way no I know. her name was uh it's like Terry oh my gosh I can't remember um it started with a T hold on let me get it for it you it is um, Taya White um, Taya there we White. go yeah. And that is, yeah. That so I guess it started with the, <laughs> okay. They were white, yeah. So, I, yeah, that was kind of sad, too. too. But, yeah. Um, and her last work, actually, too, would be, if you guys want to check that out, too, uh, which we'll probably will, um, we're going to pick up the DVD of the Scooby Do- uh, Scooby-Doo and Curse yes. the Cowrie Dog. Uh, yes. Team up. So that was, that was going to be her last uh, yep. uh, work that she did before she passed. And it's so fun. Um, Once again, yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's sad. It is definitely sad, and it 
it it hits me especially because once again it's kind of the same thing we had just touched on but like this one a little different because you do know it's not out yet you know what i mean and so you can get it and you know but usually these things come out and you don't know that this is gonna be right the last performance or the last uh piece of media you're gonna get from these creators and these artists mm -hmm. And so it it really gives you an appreciation once again for all those. I mean, Courage the Cowardly Dog was technically one of the longest running shows on Cartoon Network, if you count its uh, its movie re reboot or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it was a really good show too. I mean, it's one of the few horror shows for kids, for one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was a it was a good uh, gateway uh, horror show. That's Absolutely. for sure. That's why I, I really liked it. Honestly, it's creepier uh -oh. than half of the new horror movies that come. <laughs> Just the the it has a better understanding of like typical horror uh, elements, I think, than a lot of the new stuff coming out, which just focuses on blood and gore. Not everything, <laughs> just some stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. um but so yeah. and I was gonna. There was some finally some a uh, trailer that came out from Fox. I think it, yep, it's coming out Fox, but uh or not Fox FX. Sorry, I always get them confused because. <laughs> anyways, FX network. FX is um, Fox to be fair. <laughs> that's what I thought. I was gonna say they're under the same name, but so I just always yeah. But FX is uh coming out with a new um show which has been under limbo for like the longest time, but they're gonna be making the Why the Last Man. Um, I've never actually truthfully read that book, but I think I believe it's with the came out with Vertigo, and from watching the trailer, it sounds like it's you know all the men die in the whole world, and the only ones that are left to live are the uh, women, and now they are uh, now come to figure out what's going on, and there's only one man that is living still, and that's you know given the title Why the Last Man. I think the, it's a little bit of a play on words because they don't put the word Y, they put the letter Y yeah. uh, for, I think, the chromosome Y. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. other than that, um, it um, it's, uh, seems like an interesting show. Uh, I'm going to definitely check it out. And I, again, I, I've always heard this show has been going, circulating around in the comic community a lot and the speculators because, you know, this is one that's, I guess, been planned for a long time and now it's finally coming. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, but yeah, I'm, re I'm really just good. happy. I'm happy to hear about that only because, not because I've heard of it or anything more, but because it means that the things that are like sitting in limbo aren't just stuck there necessarily, right? Or doomed to fit. Like sometimes the thing things you hit limbo and you just assume they're done, like mm -hmm. like Gambit, um, <laughs> or I mean, there's a bunch of other things, right? There are things. The Flash is actually another good example of a thing that just kind of sat in limbo for a while where you're just like, I have, we have no real idea if they're ever going to get this off the ground and going or if it's just going to sit on the storyboard and the and the hype train forever. Um, I mean, and even to even to extend it to games and stuff like Cyberpunk, right? Where yeah. it's just like years and years waiting for this title that's sitting in limbo and just not done or not ready or not. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I feel like we've kind of been sitting in the middle of the whole like year, last year and a half anyway. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see what else here. Uh, there was some uh, photos released of the new Hawkeye and uh, Kate Bishop show. So that one, um, that was an exclusive look from um, Entertainment Weekly. Oh, it looks like we got a release date, and that's going to actually be November twenty fourth yeah. for uh, the Hawkeye show. Which is so that went uh, pretty soon, considering that. we have no trailer. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, and the What If uh, show comes out this Wednesday. Yes, so the 11th. I'm also, it's on my list. Yeah. I want to see some Marvel zombies. Yeah. I, I wonder I how they're going to do gonna it, first. though. It's going to be episode episode, that's man. What I say. That's it's how they're doing it. Arc episodes, right? So it'll be like maybe three no, episodes I don't think, of an arc. I don't think they're going to do think it like that. It's going to be a whole episode. Yeah. I'm almost certain. Okay. Just think about Yeah. And I'll explain the reason why. Um, yeah, it could be like an anthology, I guess, like little series. Well, just one, it, it was always going to be, right? Like there's no way to tie those what-if stories in together in any good, meaningful way. Because once again well, – no, I, mean, I was more talking about like, you know, would they give like a, like a series – like Marvel Zombies, would they just give it like three episodes like for Marvel Zombies? Or is it just going to, you know, be like one episode and that's oh, it? Oh, no, that's yeah. It for Marvel Zombies. Um, I don't think um, – yeah, I don't think they're going to do series touches on them. Maybe, but – and once again, I'll give you my reason for it is totally based on their release structure 
Their release structure yeah. has been pretty rigid so far, being one episode a week with a couple episodes released up front sometimes. And really want us to get us back to that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I would like that. But I understand why they're doing what they're doing. Um, and we're probably getting eight episodes. Uh, maybe yeah. nine, oh, but li- likely eight well, episodes. Well, let's see. So we... Well, we, we, which ones we know so far? We saw from the toy line already given us. Oh well, stuff, yeah, so that we know, um, we we know, uh, we know zombies. We get the uh, yeah, zombies. We get Star Lord as um, T'Challa, um, T'Challa Star Lord. Yeah, and um, then we also get a Black Panther story with uh, the Killmonger as the Black yeah, Panther the Iron, said. Yeah, Iron Man Captain Britain's, uh, Captain or Captain Britain story. Yep. Or uh, Carter. Captain Carter. Sorry. Yeah, Captain uh, Carter. Thank you. We know then, we're getting uh, um So we've already got a... zombies, Star Lord, uh T'Challa Iron Man. We've got uh Captain Carter, the Doctor Strange run, and then um I think it's actually gonna be well, I think it was Marvel Zombies as well, that Doctor Strange. But we'll see. Uh, that might maybe. be its own thing it too. Might, it might be no, you're right. But, no, might be its yeah. own thing, yeah. And um, I'm, I'm sure if we so went far. through the trailer, I think there were one or two more little things that were – like you saw Howard the Duck somewhere, which he's got to probably either be in yeah, Zombies or – There was that too. <laughs> so like so, I'm sure if um, we I'm look through it – I'm showing us everything. So I hope we no, get and I very surprise. much – yeah. And so with that in mind, if we know we have four or five stories that they've shown us, we can assume that they probably got four, five-ish stories they have not yet maybe shown us or are going to show us. And that sounds good. So based on the num- those numbers of stories and their typical release date, as well as the fact that none of these episodes, these episodes are all 30 to 40 minutes, maybe a little more, but or 45 minutes and not necessarily yeah. really or an hour yeah, long. 45. I think that they yeah. could in an hour tell a good anthology story because basically that's what the what if stories did. They were just a, most of the time a single issue yeah. originally. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you'd get like a four run or something, but almost almost exclusively it would be one issue. Done, yeah. Yep. Whereas a typical comic book arc is usually a minimum of four to six issues. So, I I think it would work well, well and they're they're obviously working with concepts we already know, so to make it easier. So. Yep. Oh, definitely. Yeah, and I can't wait till Wednesday. That's for sure. To oh yeah, to check this out. Um. Asbro has been teasing this for a while, but they finally came out with their um, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Power Rangers crossover action figures, and they look uh, yeah, pretty so awesome. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> um, to be fair, it's if you guys haven't bad. read, it came from a comic book from Boom Studios and IW teamed up to um, make this crossover, and uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, I really like the designs of them on the toys; they look pretty awesome. Um, and they got everyone. They got Shredder. They got April as the Pink Ranger, and then they got all the turtles as Rangers as well. And then okay. they uh, came up with some different, uh, came up with some head sculpts as well for the uh, turtles as well. So nice. um, yeah, they look like pretty cool. Uh, they're all of them are pretty much coming in like a two pack, and then Shredder will be in a one pack. But it'll be like thirty dollar figure, and I think he just because he's uh, coming up with some extra accessories, and then uh, I think, I think he's just a little bit yeah. bigger. Okay. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, it sounds, uh, yeah, I'm excited for these, uh, the promo pictures and everything they've been showing us. Uh, yeah, they look pretty awesome. I think we won't be seeing them till November or, uh, early next year is what they were saying. So we'll that see. Makes sense. <laughs> uh, I mean, that sounds really cool. I think it's something that's great about nowadays compared to back when we were kids is that companies are a little more willing to go in on crossovers nowadays. I feel like. Uh, yeah, with uh, now they're business. doing uh, Jurassic Park Transformers. Did they uh, actually push with... it forward? I didn't. I, I, yeah, I heard doing... about the. I heard about the rumors. Yeah. But I didn't think they'd actually. Yeah, they're anything. doing. Uh, they're doing a Transformer, and it's Amazon exclusive. So it's a T Rex that transforms, and it's basically their Megatron figure that they yeah, have. Yeah, but yeah. it's a and it has a T uh, Rex. But then, and then also, what's really cool is they have the little uh, Ford Jeep car that transforms as well too. Um, so yeah, they they also have those. I mean, they did Back to the Future uh, Transformers. They did X Men Transformers. <laughs> yeah, and uh, once again, the, they're just a uh, lot more, a lot more open to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And don't so, get me wrong, they did it's crossovers a, back in the day. a collector for sure now, because <laughs> oh, there's yeah. a lot of like, oh yeah, I mean, stuff to be like, oh, I, I 
think and not to mention the though. fact that collectibles are more affordable than ever you know back in the day when everything yeah. was like hand carved or or literally a piece of plastic crap <laughs> it's like it was one or the other it was never well no. that's why i kind of got yeah more into toy collecting just because nowadays like the articulation so much oh, better yeah, the face sculpts are so much better even just the body sculpts are just so much better i'd, I'd argue um, everything is deco, paints and everything yeah, yeah. everything's just yeah improved yeah, over absolutely. the years and, and once again like, the now prices... characters look like they're like you know like their characters so yeah uh, yeah. yeah and like i said the prices too are just much yeah, absolutely uh, 20 dollar yeah. figures are because you know not too bad yeah, yeah yeah which once again back in the day that was 20 or 30 dollars still but that was 20 or 30 dollars back in 1990 so yeah. <laughs> you know that was when 20 or 30 dollars was a little bit more money um <laughs> No, that that's good to hear, and I think I like it. I'm excited for it because those are really two of some of the biggest, what I would call like third party kind of comic slash pop media fandoms, in the terms of kids stuff. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong, adults absolutely love that stuff now because we've grown up from being kids. Uh, but the originally Power Rangers and Team NT, the cartoon, maybe not so much as the comic, but the cartoon and the toys were marketed toward kids and that they really are a kids brand at, yeah you know nowadays, nowadays they yeah, just don't absolutely. do things like that now where it's like now you get a tv show and with the tv show you need to have a toy with that tv show yeah, nowadays no. it's like no we have guys that grew up with that stuff and they were just remaking stuff that they like now and giving it better articulation and yep. better no, yeah. sculpts and better Which accessories yeah. yeah and then totally to be fair they still do some fun new stuff you know, it's not to say they don't do new things or fun things. It's just uh, yeah, they're just companies that do their own like uni- yeah. unique like uh, yeah, you know, toys. They don't just do you know only like I know Mezco has their own type of like weird characters. They have like this uh, um, like a roach kind of character. <laughs> I forget what his name is, but uh, but yeah, they always do him every year, and he they even had like in a Bruce Lee style. Um, but yeah, they, the Mezco has their own kind of character. Um, I know a couple other company, like real indie companies do their own kind of weird stuff too. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, definitely not always has to be the, the big, you know, big dog licenses and stuff that they always do. But, um, yeah, no, it's, it's like I said, it's cool to be a toy collector and everything to just to get out. Uh, oh, and, uh, I can't wait till a couple of weeks we'll be getting the new spawn, uh, uh McFarland toys. And I just can't wait to the Violator toy. I was uh, trying to look for it yesterday, and the lady who stocks stuff, she's like, oh, you're talking about that big boy? And I'm like, yeah, that big boy. <laughs> I was like, yeah. She's like, oh, we can't put him out yet. Yeah, I was like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> but um, she's like, yeah, he's big. Yeah, he's <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I can't wait. Yeah, they, uh, I, she's like a, a expensive figure, $49, figure, uh, $49 figure. But still, um, he's hefty, but I think he scales at like – because they're supposed to be six-inch scale, but he scales around – um, I want to say he's about maybe a twelve-inch figure, eleven-inch figure from the six-inch figures. Yeah, which is um, pretty big. Oh, yeah. I mean, for forty yeah. bucks, that's not bad. He's Especially a, and he's once again, heavy, a, heavy. Yeah, and well, and I was gonna say for the quality that McFarland Toys does, I mean. Yeah, and I just the video reviews I've been seeing on him, like yeah, the sculpt on him is just amazing. And, um, yeah, it's gonna be cool to. Put a big old spawn little uh, diorama and put them on my shelf there. Nice. <laughs> Can't wait for that. that but, um, that's always fun. Let's see. Uh, what else do I have here? Because um, I know we're probably getting here to the end here. Um, I know I did want to bring up. Um, there was one other thing here. I know we talked about the White the Last Man. I know Clerk. We've been. I think we talked about that last time. But Clerks yeah. is coming back as Which well. Which is awesome. Looks like they just started filming uh, this this week, so Although, that should uh, hopefully be coming here soon. Although I think Kevin Smith is still de- dealing with a little bit of the backlash from He Man. So. Yeah, it's kind of sad. You know, it sucks. But you know, and I, you know, I understand because well, I don't understand, but it's just. Here's my just thing. I, 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 I want. They want He-Man, and they're like, yeah, that's who we want. It's not <laughs> these other characters. Here's my but... thing that irritates me about it, is like they chose the wrong reason to not like this show. <laughs> right, right. It's like if you don't yeah. like a show, don't like it because it's not well made. That's why I don't particularly. I will finally would have watched it, and I gotta say, I'm surprised, especially having been done by Kevin Smith. I was very impressed. Um, and it had nothing to do with uh some of like the Tila stuff and all. Everything to do with some of, like, the writing of motivation of characters, um, mm-hmm. some of the 
there was like one scene where like they're surrounded by like scrubs and ah. it's supposed to seem like a really dangerous scene even though like you've literally seen them wipe the floor with all like these scrubs and it's like a it's like a stacked lineup of like Evelyn and fucking uh Tila and it was like yeah no dude you could bring 50 scrubs it's cool just that's not a threat there's got to be more so there were little things uh for oh, me mix. that I didn't like it but I th- I don't think Tila is to that's not the reason to not like this show if you don't like this show, don't like it because of, you know, personal, like, enjoyment. Right? Like, don't like it because you didn't like it, not because, like, it didn't have He-Man in it. And it had He-Man in it. It had He-Man in two-thirds of the important parts. Or two-fifths. Two-fifths, sorry. It, was, it wasn't enough for them. It wasn't enough for them. I, and I will, I will admit, they, they did kind of bitch him out a little bit, but not in the sense that, like... They made Adam any weaker than in he ever was, or like He Man yeah. any weaker, or that they made Tila any more badass than she ever was. This is the same Tila that you see in every episode of He Man. Like, yeah, Tila was kind of a damsel in distress character, but Tila was not really a damsel in distress character in the sense that like Tila could fight. Tila was always like saving Prince Adam. Not He Man, but Prince Adam. She would be like constantly like, I don't know. Maybe I'm for m- misremembering the old cartoon, but you know, it, I it just tell you because I never really watched it. <laughs> like, and I only I watched this because I was like, eh, I'll check it out. It's new yeah, animation. Yeah, no, and yeah, that's yeah. yeah. I didn't watch the old one either. Like week to week, I only watched, you know, if it showed up on Boomerang one day or something, and I was like watching something else, and it showed up. I was like, okay, there's an episode of He Man down the drain kind of same with like thundercats and shit come on reruns too and i think i try to just ignore it as much as i can <laughs> i'm like nope let's see what else is on i don't like you man <laughs> see and i like i liked the toys so like i didn't i never watched it but like i wouldn't like go away from it but it was just never something that i gave too big of a shit about like yeah yeah i was like cared about the turtles and power rangers yeah more, was more turtles and power rangers person too and spider-man but um, I think those were our time too, so let's see what else here. Um oh South Park, um I think Paramount is giving them money. Yeah, and so they're gonna be going on, Yeah, and, and supposedly they have for six more seasons and they're gotta make fourteen more movies now. How many movies like, do they have? Um I wanna just say four. I don't That's think they have that I much. I didn't think they had that many movies. How are they gonna get a they went on when movies? they first kind of came out back in the 90s. Yeah, Bigger, Longer, and Uncut was the original. And I don't know and any of the ones besides that. There was one? I thought there was like know. a sequel to Bigger, remember. Longer, and Uncut. But I, I can't remember any of the other ones either. Didn't they do one like uh, I don't know. Yeah, no. I don't but know. Yes, yeah. I'll, we'll see. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I've always liked South Park. I like, yeah, you know, they're always innovating and always, you know, changing with the times. It was. It's not the same, you know, show that they were when they first started. Oh, no. Uh, no. But they, they still are keeping to who they are and everything at, yeah. at the same time. Yeah, I mean, time, it definitely but... has a, a distinct style, but it adapts with the times. So, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see that, and um, we'll see where that goes. And let's see, Lord of the Rings, we probably won't get till next year, but there was some uh, photos uh, from Amazon's Lord of the Rings show coming out here soon as well. So uh, we'll see where that goes. And, uh, oh, we finally got a release date for our Cobra Kai, if you've been watching that, actually. Uh, fan of the Cobra you know, Kai the show. The only thing I want to say about that is, holy shit, we got a season four. Like, the yeah. first season four in the history of Netflix. I just feel like they just cancel something that's, like, good. And like, really? At, you know, only after season three. Season Daybreak. Daybreak was a good show, and but, they canceled like, that show. I, I, I really, like, oh. I, if we have any watchers who give a shit, and anyone knows of any, what are some Netflix original series that went past three seasons? That's all I want to know. I don't give a shit about anything. I don't care if they were good. I, like, I literally feel like they purposefully, this is like the first time I can think, did they put it under a new name? Or is it still just Cobra Kai? Or is it like Cobra no, it's still Kai? Cobra Kai. Okay. It's still, nope, still Cobra Kai. Because they, yeah, I do, out. I know of one other series that's a Netflix original animated from them that is getting a fourth series, but they're using a different name so that it's technically <laughs> a different series. Oh, and then I uh, I know we talked about Arthur, 
uh, being canceled, but it looks like yeah. TBS posted uh, that there that there's you know plans of it to still stay. So I'm good. not gonna lie, I'm, I'm gonna have to start. That. I'm gonna have to start donating to PBS. I use way yeah. too much of this. <laughs> like I don't. Even, not even just for Arthur. Like don't get me wrong. I like Arthur and I want to see Arthur continue, but I wouldn't pay money for that. I'm broke. But I do use a bunch of like other PBS shit on YouTube and stuff, like Space Time and Eon and a bunch of other shows that they produce. So I was like, I gotta start donating to PBS soon. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. <laughs> so I was excited for that to come. Oh, and then I guess we didn't share that, but Venom, uh, the Venom trailer. Came oh, we could have um, done that. I felt like it was important to do Suicide Squad this week with the release. That's fine. No, no, no. Yeah. But, but uh, they really, we really did get to see that. Oh, Carnage just looks. So so great like he looks great How i is... like this carnage design um but i'm still like iffy about the venom design. it's just because he doesn't got this the the you know the symbol on him um oh they take the, the spider spice... yeah yeah well Spice's i just see yeah, i just not well, no, it's well Sony, yeah right? you said so you they... the first one that's right well, it's because they didn't do the whole Spider-Man thing, you. Because yeah, that's really no, how he that's, gets. The that's true. And they that's didn't. Sense, there was no yeah. way of them really connecting that, if, unless they did a Spider-Man movie again. <laughs> they could have the done. Band. They could have done it. They could have done a connection. I, I, I taken, guess they could have taken a Spider-Man Venom movie. They could have just said it was Spider-Man and Venom movie. I don't know. Who they, knows? They could have. Uh, they could have made that connection in Venom in two fucking minutes. Yeah. Easy. Literally two minutes of a flashback and a, not even a cameo from Tom from Tom Holland, just a voice cameo. And they could have gotten away that with would, it. That would be fine. Yeah. That would have it would have established fine. connection, established propriety. It would have done a bunch of stuff. I think they purposefully chose to tear him away from Spider Man. I don't know why. I think it's partially because Spider Man was involved with the MCU. Seeing that's like I said, he, I like the Venom. Like he's cool looking design, everything. Yeah. He's hefty. He's a beef monster. No, he's I got mean, the long. I mean, tub, with the exception the, of the everything. symbol, even his but facial. Symbols, yeah, everything's cool on him. But the Carnage looks great. He looks great because you don't have to worry about the symbol yeah, or anything. No, yeah, they got all the like, black tendrils going through him yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks great. That's <laughs> that. And see, what I'd love to see. I know it's never gonna happen. It it'll never happen. But I'd love to see for them somehow to pull like Null from this kind of like story. Pretty cool. There'd be uh, people in the speculating been talking about that a lot, but there a lot of people are like, nah. No, not gonna it's not going to happen. Here. Like I said, it'll never happen for for many I'm... reasons. One being Sony, unless they decide to tie Venom into the MCU, is not anywhere near big enough to tackle that kind of character. I just hope that they eventually Sony just is like, okay, guys, we gotta eventually give up on Spider. Let's just they give just up the they're, they're they're never gonna give up willingly. One day. Marvel is going they, to I mean, find a way. That's it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I, it's it's it'd be it's different for someone like the Hulk. Like I don't see Universal hanging on to the Hulk for more than another five to ten years, because Marvel has done everything in their power since they kind of split off at the beginning of the creation of the MCU to mm -hmm. limit the Hulk. In his I appearances. I want that Hulk to be like a way more cooler character, honestly. Like, you know, they've no, oh, they kind of really they really do dumb him down a lot in the in the MCU and it's you know, I've I, I, I like the Hulk and like I, you know, I really did like the Hulk though in the Thor um the last one that Thor, they did. Yeah. That, he was good in that one. That was good. Yeah. But then after all those other ones they really even after when they came back into to do the uh you know, the last of the films with them. They yeah. really like dumb down the Hulk, you know, after that, you know, with him fighting Thanos on the ship and just getting like bitch slapped by him. <laughs> which, <laughs> so people always, which always makes me laugh, but that is exactly what would happen to the comics as well. This is not a fight. Yeah, that, it would. That the Hulk but would I just, I felt like it could have been a better fight. You oh, know, it, man, it absolutely could have been a better fight. And then they did a whole, that whole thing with like not doing a great communication on like. I, it's actually, you should check it out if you haven't seen it. It's either a deleted scene or a cut scene of ruffalo and uh hulk turning into professor hulk See, that was cool see that would have been cool too i know that's kind of what they were doing anyways no at the we, very and end we was, knew basically yeah professor hulk but... yeah we knew that was going on but it's literally a scene it's like a dead Maybe scene they, they kept that because you know that would have made I'm it actually, more just i it actually understand so... i understand why they didn't i don't know actually it probably would have been better because it wasn't even in um Endgame, it was in Infinity War. 
It was an end piece of Infinity oh, War. Okay. Yeah, it's when he's fighting what's his name? Uh, fucking yes, Obelisk. They, they really, I remember because they really at, towards the end they kind of made Hulk like he was very scared towards them. Like I didn't like that whole. Thing. If they right. made it where he would turn. Professor Hulk, then maybe I'd understand. Well, but okay, and that was that a whole guy. that was a whole other thing. It is something that uh, they talked about in like different interviews and stuff that their purpose for like and it, once again I agree it wasn't communicated well because I also got that kind of impression like he's just either afraid to fight because he got beat up, but they're supposed they apparently their intention was to give the impression that he was tired of showing up when Banner asked for him to show up. He was tired of always showing up when uh and it didn't come across because that scene got cut yeah uh that 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 scene uh really ties together the whole performance of hulk in endgame and infinity war it it ties in the stitches that need it to be and i have no idea why they cut it out If, if you get a chance or maybe we'll show it at the end of the thing but it is a very interesting little like minute and a half scene or two minutes scene, which I that's the only reason I could see it have been cut was that it would add even more to almost a three or whatever plus hour movie. But at the same mm-hmm. time, you already had a bunch of scenes with Banner in the the Hulk's. You know what I mean? There could have been any number of things you could have just cut out and put that in instead. I guess I don't know. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that, that, that's pretty much all I had then for today. Um. <laughs> I think the only thing I was going to say is once again on that Hulk thing that, uh, yeah, they, they, they do that on purpose, not the, maybe that part of cutting him out to, to confuse us, but they have intentionally kept the Hulk out of as much as they could with the right. exception of Ragnarok, okay. which was a hundred percent, probably Chris Hemsworth and, uh, Waiki Watiti, uh, <laughs> bit made to being like, yeah, we need the Hulk in this. This is his storyline. And, right that you can't have sakar without the hulk but yeah. otherwise like they they definitely i mean he doesn't show up in any of the movies besides the avengers movies and that one thor movie and of course the incredible hulk but basically everybody else even in cameo form like roger showing up in some of the movies shows up in between movies like captain america civil war or right like some other movie people will make an appearance uh shortly I mean, there's exceptions, but the Hulk being a main Avenger and not making all these appearances is a much bigger deal. Like, uh, I guess not Hawkeye, but the, there would, there would be, yeah, no, Hawkeye would be in probably as many or more movies than the Hulk because Mm -hmm. he's there in civil war, but is he there in, no, he's not there in infinity war. Is he? I don't know. But yeah, they I don't know why they do that. I think it's so that they can devalue the property and buy it back from Universal. That's literally the only reason I can see that they're doing it. Could be. But um, um Yeah, I don't think yeah. I had too much more. Um there are some stuff coming up in comics, but it's like still coming up. There are some okay. cool things yeah, going can... in an anime, but I think that will take a whole nother like that'll take a little more time than we have left. So uh what Definitely I think I will think... do is just for people's sake we're gonna go ahead and um, see if we show off that. Uh... Bruce Banner turning into Smart Hulk. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get a exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.